Okay, okay, one more, but really then that's it. So here we go. I'm gonna go through the doubles and then I'm gonna go through the triples and what the, the single? Well, that's sweet. Okay, so do you know how to shade not B? That's all we gotta do. So shade not B is outside of B. Ta-da! Might need to erase just to clean some things up there, clean up my lines. Boom, not B, done. Okay, A intersect B. Remember that we read this. We read this as inside A and inside B. Now remember that and means it has to be both. It has to be inside A and inside of B, and the only section that's inside A and inside B is our cat's eye here, or football, or whatever you want to call it. Check. Next one, intersection again. So I'm going to read this one. This one is inside A and B naught. So that means that it's outside of B. It doesn't mean I erase. It just means that I shade outside of B, just like I did here. So I'm going to look for these two circles. I'm going to look at these two circles and look for where am I inside of A while at the same time being outside of B. Well, not there, because that's inside of B. So only this section is inside of A and outside of B. So you just have to get used to reading that to yourself. And remember that the word and here means that it has to be both at the same time. Now this word is or. So this is outside of A or inside of B. But all you really have to remember is that unions are easy. In order to do a union, I do this. So I do this one, then I do this one, I keep them both. So let's do outside of A first. So I'm going to shade everything outside of A. This is not A. And then I'll shade everything inside of B. And because it's a union, I just shade and I keep both. I don't have to erase anything. Done. All right, let's go to our triples. Now, triples aren't that much harder. You have to know how to do your doubles, and then you have to know how to st stack on the C, or tack on the C, whatever you want to call it. Okay, so A in union with B. I'm going to do that first. Unions are just that I do all of A, all of B, keep them both. So again, unions are easy. Unions are easy too when you get to triples. But this is an intersection. So with an intersection, remember that I read what I've done already as shaded. So it's shaded and outside. It's not. So shaded and outside of C. So what, in he what has already been shaded and is outside of this circle C? Well, everything outside of C. That's already shaded. So I erase what's inside of C because it has to be outside. Boom. Done. This is now shaded already, so it was shaded from this and outside of C. Okay, next one's going to intersect with inside of C, but first let's get to, well, let's do first things first. Let's do the AB. So inside of A and outside of B, hopefully you guys are getting comfortable with that. Inside of A and outside of B is right there. I'm ignoring C until I, well, until I get to it, so I'm just going to do this first. So that is inside of A and outside of B. Now, I also want it to be inside of C because it's C and instead of C naught. So when it's C naught, it's outside. When it's C, it's inside. It's still an intersection, so I want it to be shaded and inside of C. So it's shaded overlapping with C. So what's shaded and inside of C? Well, just that piece was. So I have to erase the stuff outside of C. Remember, I am erasing because it's an intersection. It doesn't matter whether it's inside or outside. Whether it's C or C naught, that doesn't affect it. I am erasing because it's an intersection. When it's union, I'm just going to paint more. So let's do this union. It should be easy. Inside of A and outside of B, again, so it's this one. Hopefully you're quicker at these doubles. Union with C naught. Okay, this is going to take a lot of pencil here. So. When I union with C naught, I just shade more. So I'm going to accept everything that's shaded, or I'll accept it if it's C naught. So I'm going to accept everything that's shaded, and then I'm going to accept all of this stuff. And I go around that circle. Okay. 
And once again, I end up with stuff that is inside of my C naught circle, but that's okay because it's a union. So that's what you end up with. So you do this first, and then with the union, it's easy. You just shade all of outside C, and you're done. Okay, another intersect with not C this time. Okay, so we do these a lot here, don't we? So outside of A and inside of B. So again, you should be getting used to this. It's inside of B and outside of A. It's this side. Now I'm going to intersect that with outside. So this is what's shaded. And then I intersect that with outside of C, so it has to be shaded and outside of C. It's just this piece, not this one. So this one has to get erased. And again, I'm erasing because it's an intersection. I didn't erase at all when it was a union, except maybe I could erase these lines because they're messy. But yeah, you don't erase when it's a union. You just erase for intersects. I don't erase because it's not. I don't erase when it's inside or outside. I just erase because it's intersect. So I only keep what is shaded and outside of C, or shaded inside of C. Done. Check. I hope that helped.